Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse. So welcome to it. Happy Monday. It is May 10th. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, especially celebrating Mother's Day. God bless all the mothers out there. Grandmothers, too. Forgive. Forgive anyone who offends you. Remember the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. And that's Colossians. Who is it that you need to forgive? Even now, the Holy Spirit brings the person to mind because he wants to liberate you from bitterness. He may even remind you of the individual you thought you already pardoned and prompt you to examine your heart. Listen to him. He knows when more healing is necessary. Likewise, you may be tempted to stop reading because confronting, confronting, I'm sorry, unresolved anger is painful, but realize unforgiveness can damage your health, thwart your peace, hinder your joy and harm your relationships. Bitterness prevents you from living the abundant life God created you to enjoy. And as long as you refuse to forgive the offender, you allow him or her to control you. Friend, don't allow resentment to imprison you. Release your anger to the Lord and trust him to heal you. The Father knows what's happened and he judges the situation with wisdom and righteousness. So let go of the pain, forgive and trust him to vindicate you. Then allow him to heal your heart as only he can. Lord, please help me forgive, heal me of this bitterness and show me how to live in your freedom. Amen. In his presence, forgive those who hurt you. So this happens to all of us, especially within families, right? You have an argument and sometimes because of a little argument or disagreement, you don't talk for a long time. Sometimes you never talk and you hold this resentment, this bitterness. And when somebody says, why don't you speak to your brother, your sister, your siblings, your mother, your father, and you say, well, you don't know what they've done to me. And the story continuously changes to sort of fit your own agenda because now it's so hard because there is such a gap and a separation that now it is so difficult to call someone. What I tell my son all the time is if somebody does you wrong, first of all, we always take the high road. It's so easy to get aggravated and scream and yell. And it's so hard to sort of control yourself and walk away. And number two, we don't have to like everyone, but we do have to love them. And what I've learned myself in my own life is when someone does me wrong, I don't want to get back at them, right? What I do is I take a moment, I reflect, I pray about it, and I say, I'm going to pray for that person because obviously they're going through something. Yes, I could have aggravated them. Yes, they could have aggravated me. But there is always a reason for somebody to lose their temper where they're so short, where they just come at you. And what you say to yourself is, I will pray for them. Because in order for you to react and respond that way so quickly to lose you know, your, your self-control, there's got to be something going on internally that is at the surface. So before you stop talking to someone, before you retaliate, just ask yourself that question. Is there something else I can do? Like we all can do, we could always pray. And we can always remember that God forgives us all the time. So it is our duty to forgive that person. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire evangelize through words and actions. God bless you. Follow me on YouTube for Minute Motivation.